Hey, what's going on today, guys? Today, I'm going to give a quick overview of my 4K video editing PC and how I'm using it for mining on the side when it's not video editing or rendering. So its primary components consist of one Ryzen 9 5950X CPU right here. As of May 2021, it's the best CPU on the market for multitasking with the exception of the Threadripper series. And in addition, as you can see up here, it has two really large GPUs. These are both the RTX 3090 Strix Edition by ASUS. Objectively, these are the best variants for the RTX 3090 series because of its superb design as well as great memory overclocking potential. So the other components in the rig consist of four sticks of 16 gig RAM modules right here. That brings the total memory capacity of the system up to 64 gigabytes. So right here we have a Dark Rock Pro 3 air cooler for the CPU. I know for a high-end CPU like the Ryzen 9 5950X, it would have been ideal to have liquid cooling. I just prefer air cooling for the simplicity. So right here we have a Noctua fan providing fresh air for the middle GPU right there. And then down below here we have a bunch of SSDs which range from 4TB to 8TB in size. I know it's a bit messy, but I've been busy swapping them in and out to edit various types of videos. And then back there in the corner is a 1600 watt power supply. It's a Corsair AX 1600i. As mentioned, right now as of May 2021, this is the best consumer power supply you can get in the world. From the wall at 120 volts, it runs up to 95% efficiency. Furthermore, it's titanium rated and has Japanese capacitors. So right here you can see the editing PC running at full load on the NiceHash platform. The Ryzen 9 5950X is mining Monero at an average of 14.5 kilohash per second. And then down below are the two RTX 3090s. One of them is mining Ethereum at 100 megahash per second. And then the one below with not as good ventilation is at 77 mega hash per second. So on the side here, you can see the performance of the two GPUs when mining Ethereum. You can see the accepted shares and all the other interesting things like that. And then to the right is the performance for the CPU mining Monero. So right here with the main tap of the NiceHash platform, it's showing a daily income of around 16 US dollars per day right here. That's based off of the current mining difficulty, as well as the total hash rate for the three pieces of hardware combined. So if you go to the right here, here is a Corsair Link application. It's showing the, the, an average efficiency for the power supply of around 94%. So if you go to the wall, the watt meter is drawing about 760 watts. Based on BC hydro rates of eight US cents per kilowatt hour, it's drawing about a dollar and fifty cents per day of power consumption. Again, if you look back at the nice hash tab here uh, for a revenue of sixteen US dollars per day, if you subtract the cost of electricity, it's about fourteen dollars and fifty cents US dollars per day. I mean, for an editing rig like this, that's not even meant for mining. That's really good side passive income. And something I did to help achieve uh, those good numbers was I opened MSI Afterburner and I adjusted the video cards accordingly. I put the power limit down to 75 and then I put the core clock also down to negative uh, 200 as well the memory clock was brought up to plus 500 and that allowed the, the Ethereum mining to increase a bit in performance as well as draw less power for the video cards. And yeah, for mining Monero, you can see the CPU is put at 100% load. So it's pretty well utilized for mining there as well. So this next clip here is thermal imaging showing heat being dissipated off of various objects. You can see on the video editing rig here, there is a lot of heat being dissipated off of the two GPUs. Even just standing here, I can definitely feel the warmth. So if you ever have a cold room or you just need to simply heat up any portion of the house, this rig definitely is a good substitute for a space heater.
Anyway, you guys, I appreciate it if you made it this far in the video. It's definitely a nice perk to mine with this video editing PC whenever it's not being used. So yeah, I definitely encourage if any of you have high-end PCs to mine on the side whenever you get the chance. Thanks again for watching. Goodbye now.